Former Vice President Mike Pence recently grew a passable facsimile to a spine. Sort of. This is after months and months of former President Donald Trump publicly attacking him, going after him over the election certification. Mike Pence finally kind of hits back a little bit on Friday in a speech to the Federal Society Conference in Orlando, Florida. Here's what he said about the certification. President Trump said I had the right to overturn the election. But President Trump is wrong. I had no right to overturn the election. The presidency belongs to the American people and the American people alone. And frankly, there is no idea more un-American than the notion that any one person could choose the American president. Mm, exactly. We all know that here in America, the Electoral College, a remnant of slavery, chooses the American president, even if the, Ameri uh, the majority of the American people don't. In fact, the majority of the American people have never chosen a president. That's how we ended up getting Donald Trump and George W. Bush in the first place. Weird. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you said the goose, you. How did you not know that, Mike Pence? We don't live in a national democracy. That's the whole point. But anyway, hey, look, kind of a strong message. The balls were handed back to him from Mother's Purse. And hey, well, you know what? That's a good thing when that happens, I suppose. Uh, but... A little late, a little late, still, he is no longer, I guess he, he seems to no longer be uh, Donald Trump's bitch, no longer beta male. So I guess that's a good thing. So now Donald Trump, speaking of him, he is, uh, he's not thrilled with this. Uh, in fact, here's a statement. Just saw Mike Pence's statement and the fact that he had no right to do anything with respect to the electoral vote count, other than being an automatic conveyor belt for old crow Mitch McConnell to get Biden elected president as quickly as possible. Yes, as, as if, of course, it was good for Mitch McConnell to have someone else, to have Joe Biden as president. How? Mitch McConnell got everything he wanted during a Trump presidency. They signed the, 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 one of the biggest tax cuts for the rich that we've had since since the Bush tax cuts. I, I, Mitch McConnell would have loved to have had Donald Trump in the White House because Donald Trump's stupid enough to sign almost anything the establishment wants. Okay, I, I, I know, it doesn't make any sense, right? Uh, but anyway, <laughs> he says, well, the vice president position is not an automatic conveyor. If obvious signs of voter frauds or irregularities exist, that's why the Democrats and rhinos are working feverishly together to change the very law that Mike Pence and his unwitting advisors used on January 6th to say there's no choice. The reason they want it changed is because they now say they don't want the vice president to have the right to ensure an honest vote. In other words, I was right and everyone knows it. I was right. He screamed as he clutched his pens in his greasy Cheeto fingers. I know Cheetos aren't greasy, but he probably had like a hamburger earlier. I don't know. Cheeseburger, maybe. Anyway, <laughs> if there is fraud or large scale irregularities, it would have been appropriate to send those votes back to the legislatures to figure it out. Oh, you mean the legislatures that were filled with fake electors? Yeah, that's great. The Dems and Rhinos want to take that right away. A great opportunity lost, but not forever. In the meantime, our country is going to hell. Now, look, I, I've explained before, and I, I don't think I need to do it again, um, that Donald Trump is reading the Electoral Count Act wrong. I know reading comprehension is incredibly difficult, especially when you're a one-pager kind of guy. You see what I mean? Uh, but look, l let me just clarify in the fact that the big change to the Electoral Count Act is the fact that there is no big change, <laughs> literal no change. What they're doing is that they're clarifying the language so that moron, uh, moronic proto-fascists like Donald Trump can't claim that the president can pick, or I'm sorry, the vice president can pick the president. That's not a thing. It never has been. It just never has been. But, you know, if you're dumb or you want to manipulate dumb people, then you can jump on things that people either haven't read or, or don't quite understand. 
for your own political ambitions. And I understand political speech can get a little complicated, especially for people with smoother brains. Um, but here's the thing, right? Break it down simply. Do you think that if Joe Biden could have picked the president in 2016, when he was outgoing, right, um, that he would have chosen Donald Trump or not have chosen Hillary Clinton? Now, again, you remember how hysterical the media was about Donald Trump winning the election over Hillary Clinton. I, I remember. We all remember. So now, if Biden had the power to choose Hillary Clinton, why didn't he just choose Hillary Clinton and completely negate the election? Why even have elections at this point if they were able to do that? Well, I, and the answer is, of course, that he can't do that. And we have elections. <laughs> again, you have the power. You're going to use it. And everybody knows it. Everyone knows it, except maybe, and this is a very important maybe, maybe Donald Trump, who might be dumb enough to believe it. And if he's not dumb enough to believe it, well, then that leaves the other, the other possibility, which is a li little bit more scary, that he is knowingly using it to manipulate his followers into trying to do an actual takeover.